Hey guys, we've had a ton of requests for making our interactive notebook pages more distance learning friendly, so we've gone ahead and done that. And what we're going to do here is walk you through the directions on how to assign our interactive notebook pages to your students. So you've opened up this document, you're going to notice that there's two videos. You're watching the Google Slides tutorial right now. We also have one for your students that you can assign. And then once you get down to the sharing the Google Slides with your students, you're going to notice you have two links. You have one to open up the presentation. We're going to be looking at safety and scientific method in a moment. And you also have this one here that is the teacher key that you can access. Um, we've gone ahead and included that so you could have su some suggested answers. And uh, that would help you with guiding your students or checking their answers as well. So let's go ahead and let's click to open up the Google Slides presentation. And it's going to, first thing it's going to do is it's going to force you to make a copy. So it's going to bring up this copy document. Would you like to make a copy of Safety and Scientific Method Interactive Notebook? I'm going to go ahead and click Make a Copy. And what that's going to do is that's going to copy that into your personal uh, Google Drive. So right here we have the entire digital um, safety and scientific method notebook. Now, this is going to include all the activities. So you can scroll through here on the left-hand column. Um, if, you, if you play this in presenter mode, you can click on these blue links and it'll take you directly to whichever page you want to go to. And like I said, we have the other document that has all the answers on it. So uh, on the key, you're going to notice behind each one it says key. You can click and it'll take you to um, what the suggested answer should be. So as we click through here, um, every single one of our uh, pages that we have that you can print is included in this. We've, we've kind of modified some of it to make it work digitally, um, but it's the same ideas and everything should work uh, for your students to gain the same uh, information that you'd want them to know. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at um, what you could do. Students can go through here. Um, on the safety equipment, we've included places where, boom, here's a text box. They can type in their answers okay, for each one of those. So they're defining the pieces of equipment, putting some examples on how you might use those. Same thing here, safety four square, fire blanket, extinguisher, eyewash station, safety shower. How they would use those things or two situations, how they'd use them, they're pretty simple. They just follow the directions. They type their answers there. Those are pretty straightforward. Then you can get to ones where... It's like this, safe versus unsafe lab procedures, pocket activity. So it says drag the test tube scenarios here. So students are going to categorize all of these examples down here as either safe or unsafe. And all they have to do is just read the scenario and click on it and drag it to whichever one that it belongs to. This says Aaron reported a spill and broken glass to the teacher. So if she reported that to the teacher, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Boom, that's safe. She's gonna, uh, he or she, whoever's working, that's going to drag it right there. And that's pretty simple. And once, once they get them all dragged to the right spot, um, they've categorized them all properly, and it's good to go. So that's how it works. Um, and like I said, as you go through here, you can see all the directions, everything that they do. They're going to type on some of them. They're going to answer some questions. They're going to drag some things. They're going to read. Um, different pieces of lab equipment, um, just the basics of safety and the scientific method. All right, so what you're going to notice once you've opened this up and you've taken a look, you're going to see that it says copy of safety and scientific method. So let's go through how you're going to, what, what you're going to need to do to give this to your students. So the first thing that we'd probably recommend is taking off copy of at the beginning because okay, you want this saved in your Google Drive as just the safety and scientific method interactive notebook. Um, then what we would probably do is move that, click on that move tab right there, and you can move that into a specific folder in your Google Drive that you've already set up. So maybe you want to title it uh, interact, digital interactive notebook pages, and you can move that into that folder to keep it nice and organized. Um, you can change the order of these slides any way you want to do it. That's totally up to you. Um, but whenever you're ready to assign the pages to your students, we're going to walk you through how you do that. 
So there's a couple of options. Um, you're probably not going to assign the entire notebook to your students at once. You can do that. That's totally fine. You could say, hey, um, today I want you to work on slide three, safety equipment. Um, and, and that's the way you could do it. Or um, you could assign just like one page at a time so your students aren't looking at the whole thing. Doesn't matter. Totally teacher preference. If you want to look at just one slide with your students, you could delete all the other slides. Just save that one slide there. And you're going to send that to your students. We'll show you how to do that in a second. Or like we said, you could assign the whole booklet. Both ways work the same way. The biggest, most important thing that I can stress to you is that if you delete stuff off of here, don't panic thinking that you lost it. You can always go back to the original link that we provided um, to get you to this, and you can click on that. You could always recopy it like we did at the beginning, and you'd have all the slides again. So it's totally however you want to do it. So let's just say um, I'm ready to assign the whole booklet or page to my students. What I want to do is I want to go up here to this link and I want to highlight the back part of the link all the way to, well, there we go, all the way to the word edit. I want to delete all of that off. And I want to replace that with the word copy. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to force your students to make a copy of the entire file or whatever page you gave them so they can't edit your original. Um, and mess it all up. So you're going to do that, copy, that's going to be what you're going to see, and that's what you're going to assign to your students. So if you don't want to assign that whole link there, you can have a shortener, like Amazon URL shortener, or bit.ly, whatever you want to use. If I do the shortener link for Amazon, it gives me this link right here. And I would just copy that, and I would either email that to my students or put that in your um, LMS however you give your students their their daily assignments that's what you'd send them the link and you'd say hey here's here's the pages or a page that I want you to work on all right and what that's going to do is give students this when they click on it they're going to have to make a copy which is going to put that in their individual google drive and so your 100 150 200 students however many you have are going to all have their own individual copy and not be editing your version Okay, um, sometimes those mistakes can happen, not a big deal. Just go back, redo it. And um, like I said, you have the master file that we've given you, so you can just use that and you can restart if anything catastrophic happens. <laughs> Hopefully not, but um, there's always ways to get back all those documents back. All right, so you send that link to your students and they're good to go. Then all they have to do is um, complete the work that you've assigned them and they can either just save that in their own booklet um, or they can send it back to you. It's super cool, digital notebook, which you could have your students do this, again, teacher preference, but you could have your students take all of these pages that you've assigned them and they could make a master copy in their Google Drive where they're just piecing together all the pages that you've assigned them because you're probably not gonna do every single page. You can, but you're probably not going to. And so then your students could build like a master copy of all the notebook pages that they've done throughout the year. And they'd have those digitally on their computer. They could print those out when they're done if they wanted to, or they could just save them and uh, have those as like a digital notebook uh, for their class notes. Pretty cool. So that's how that works. Super important. Um, we've included all the directions, like we said right here. And all you have to do is just make sure to follow those. If you have any questions at all on the second page here that we haven't shown you yet, you can email us at the science do at gmail.com and we'll uh, help with anything that you need. All right. Hope this helps. Take care.